Hey y'all, out of my buddy Jeff's house and uh, he's got a little 55 Chevrolet pickup he's just got finished. I think y'all are gonna enjoy. So let me get the camera turned around and we'll talk to him a little bit about it. Jeff, it turned out awful nice, brother. Thank you, buddy. You I happy with it? I'm very happy with it. This truck is a 55 Chevrolet, uh, born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, up till three years ago when I brought it up here and uh, redid the whole truck. Had you been looking for a 55, or was there a, was there a, a group of years there that would have worked for you? No, not really. Uh, the story is I got it from my son. He had it in his backyard. It was free, so uh, I took it, and yeah. it was a big back window. Uh, yeah, free, right? Yeah, free. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh -huh. It ain't free now. No, but it's pretty. Oh, it is pretty. Who did the work for you? Uh, paint and body work was done by uh, B. Rods here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, I did the fabrication. Millican Motorsports did the fabrication and uh, installation and putting together sort of thing. Uh, it's got a lot of unique features to the truck. Uh, you'll see the whiskey barrel in the back, which houses all the airbag uh, and the battery connections. And it has some place to put it. And uh, after we drank all the whiskey, I couldn't find any help anymore. Right, so, I got you. Anyway, tailgate's been modified, one of a kind tail light. Uh, stainless steel fasteners all throughout. Truck has just been repainted, uh, painted last Friday. We just finished the detail work. Uh, that's how recent this is. Those fenders look a little wider. Too. Yeah, fenders are three inches wider. Bebops, fiberglass fenders on the back. Uh, I can put wider tires on the back if I want to, but just elected to put the 12s on the back instead. Uh, striping was. What are those, 20s? Those are 20s on the back. 18s on the front? On the front. Yeah. And uh, Howard Horn did the striping for us here in Knoxville, uh, striper here in town, well known. Uh, the blue is a, a Honda blue. Uh, of course, the top is a matte black, they call it. The, the mid-stripe blue is a uh, from a Ford Focus, so I've kind of combined everything together. And is that cab, is that all stock too? That's all stock with exception of the hood. The hood is a GMC hood. I just like something a little different on my vehicles. Uh, now we've uh, straightened all the lines up. We've made a lot more crisper, uh, made a lot. The bumpers have been shortened and narrowed and lightened up. Turn signals on the front have been changed over to LEDs. Most of all the vehicle lights are LEDs, including the interior. And that's a that's a 55 bed that's on it too? That's a 55 bed. With the other fenders on it? Uh, with a fire, just three inch wider fenders on it so we could put bigger tires if I wanted to. I don't know why, it just looks like it yeah. looks a little more modern now. I guess it's crisping up them lines helped yeah, it Yeah, it helps quite a bit. Everything's been straightened up. Uh, joints are a lot better. Of course, back in those years, they weren't too uh, cautious with with uh, quality either, which uh, we've improved a lot of that here. As you can tell, uh, B Rod did an excellent job on the paint and body work. A lot of hand work on this truck. Talented, they sure are. They are very good people. PJ to too, with. he can he can get stuff straight, and they got somebody out there that can paint it and yeah, make PJ. it look good. No, it turned out nice. Yeah, PJ, uh, David Travis was one of the big key uh, craftsmen worked on along with Randy Pratt. So three. Well, what good about craftsmen. what about that intake in the hood there? Is that something that they did, or is that something you'd already had? Uh, the intake on the hood is part of the GMC opening there. That's just where the GMC fitting goes. Oh, okay. I just took it out and put the screen there. Uh, so there would have been a panel originally that yeah, fit in there. Yeah, there would have been a GMC d device there. Uh, I just wanted something a little different. Uh, is that look, grill? Is that grill stock? That there? grill stock, 100% stock, chrome plated. Okay. Yeah, lights, yeah. turn signals. As I said earlier, have been changed down to the to the LED style and got rid of the round ones that were on the fenders originally. But fenders are new, Dynacorn products. And it's got uh, it's sitting on bags, I'm guessing. Airbag, air, complete air ride system with uh, level controls, etc. Oh, I like that stripe too. That worked out well. Of course, everybody's gonna like that big back window, right? Oh, I think so. Yeah, all the smoke glass in it. Everything's new. Right, right. Tailgate's been modified, smoothed out. Have uh, tailgate latches are, are supports are NASCAR actually NASCAR hood props. Yeah, I thought those looked familiar. From Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. I've got friends that work in NASCAR, so I get some parts from them. They throw that kind of stuff away. Of course, that's gold for us. Oh yeah. Uh, all new wood. The uh, hubcaps on the wheels might be a little bit of an interest. Uh, the hubcaps are actually hubcaps off NASCAR wheels. Right on. I, I just machined that. them and adapt them to the wheels. And then you got your uh, shut off on the side of that barrel too. I do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Open that barrel for me if you don't sure, mind. No sweat. This is where all the air ride equipment rides, battery, etc. Yeah, no, what a way. That's a cool yeah. way to hide it. It is. Yeah, real whiskey barrel too. It's all charred on the inside. It is, real yeah. whiskey barrel. Uh, a little hangover when I got done drinking it all, but other than that, we did all right. <laughs> well, the truck turned out good for somebody that drank a barrel of whiskey, yeah. that's for sure. Who did this work? Uh, this work interior was done by um, 
Todd Kirk, Kirk's Custom Upholstery in Corrington, Tennessee. He's done several of my cars. Uh, leather suede uh, throughout the truck. Um, everything's been hidden. The dash has been modified slightly to smooth it out a little bit. Uh, gauges are all new. That speedometer is run from a GPS. I like them gauges. That looks good. A little different. A little yeah, different. it's modern, but you didn't change anything. Right. I wanted to keep the same concept look. Uh, did the old 60s deal with the uh, with the tachometer. The speedometer. Uh, the steering wheel is actually an original 59 Chevrolet Impala steering wheel. No, I like that Daytona weave carpeting. Yeah. And then the uh, gear shift. Yeah, gear shift was I made that. Uh, that's all aluminum gear shift. I made it to match everything else. Kind of matches the tail lights and uh, throughout the upholstery system. What's that seat out of? Uh, seats of a out of a '98 Chevrolet work truck. Uh, it fit in there so nicely. We put a little extra padding in it. Of course, we upholstered it. Uh, I like the blue stitching just, too. Yeah, that worked just, out nice. Just, just everything. The truck goes back with the blue. Right on. It's so fresh of a build. You're still waiting for the uh, rear view mirror to yeah set oh, yeah, on the window. Oh yeah. Yeah. How Guess cool is that? On. What do we got going under here, Jeff? Okay, under here we got a '95 uh, LT1 Corvette suspension on the car, whole car, but it's a '95 out of a '95 Impala SS. It's too bad you couldn't get your NASCAR buddies to send you one of those. Yeah, I oh. tried, but there was something about money and all that. I, I they, they don't. Don't throw those, they don't out. Throw those out. The good yeah, ones out. The good ones that they keep, I don't get it. But yeah. anyway, uh, they give me some more parts. Uh, in the back there is all engine turn stainless steel. I've included some screens, etc., for cooling. Oh, exactly. you ran your pinstripes up underneath too. I ran too. the pinstripe there. The detail on this truck is amazing. It, uh, we actually hood the hood upside down, let Howard stripe it, and then put the hood on it so it looks like it all together. Right on. Underneath is a mirror image of what's on top. Right. Against the GMC hood. Uh, Who did the inner fenders? Uh, inner fenders are by me yeah well yeah those are stock inner fenders i just adapted some aluminum to them for screen they look a lot cooler kind of look a little different and also yeah. let some cooling out and seal up the holes a little bit made it look a little different uh, uh, uh she's a nice little truck she works good corvette suspension throughout airbags runs good the motor runs really strong i've had it uh computer reprogrammed by street performance uh, all aluminum all new items right on no it's a beautiful truck brother thank you mm -hmm. Beautiful job, brother. Thank you, buddy. Scotty, I appreciate you coming out and looking at it. No, thanks for letting me come out. Yeah, she'll, uh, actually, there's, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to B Rods Custom, Kurtz Auto Upholstery, Howard Horn, and Millican Motorsports uh, for all the help they've given me on it. Uh, actually, the truck's going to be in Louisville this weekend. That's at the NSRA. NSRA National Event in Louisville starting uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. That's right. Well, it won't be this week when we post it, but it okay, was the, fair it enough. Was the event. But, but she'll be there. Uh, the next plan will be Shades. Actually, the plan is actually drive this truck to in the uh, what they call drive and dirty tour, uh, which on the way to SEMA. Are you gonna drive us all the drive, way to SEMA? Drive to SEMA, sure I am. All right, well, I build a drive truck then. to drive. These aren't trailer trucks; these are driven trucks. I got you. Well, I'll see you at SEMA then. All right, buddy. Awesome. Well, there you go. There's a uh, very nice '55 Chevy pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.